All right, welcome everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching the video there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are going to be playing some Abzan Angels now. So we just played Esper, we just played Naya. Um, they both looked pretty strong. Uh, let's try it with Abzan. So this one's real similar to the Naya, um, but we get Seraph of the Scales, which is an awesome angel. So like, this is certainly one of the reasons to be playing angels, in my opinion. And and uh, losing Seraph of the Scales is a big hit to the Naya deck. Um, like the afterlife is is really nice. So we not only get Seraph, but then we also get Find Finality, where we can return some of our angels that die, or ha have like a sweeper with this card as well. Um, so I'm pretty excited about those. <clears throat> the thing is, is there's kind of too many good cards to be playing in the Abzan Colors here. Like I want a second Contempt. I want a fourth Seraph. I want a second Angel of Grace. I want a third Vivian. I wouldn't mind a third July. You know, we just can't play all these cards though. So, um, you know, even a, th a third cast down would be kind of nice. So, so many, so many ways that you can kind of tune this deck and kind of smudge some numbers around also, but it's just kind of hard to, to fit all the stuff in. So, let's see how it does. Abzan Angels. I like how there's just... I get to choose a different sweet angel art for all of these. None of those are even resplendent angel. That looks awesome too. Yeah, I I agree. the The angels deck that has the best soul tie matchup is the one that I think you want to go with. And and I'm honestly not. That's the matchup I'm not exactly sure in uh, which one has the best. Soul Tie matchup. You know, we don't play against Soul Tie every round, but that's that's really like where the best one will probably be. Have you been having issues with Arena losing connection since the update? Not at all. Nope. We could cut out Wild Growth Walker. I think that that's kind of risk, being a little risky of not having Wild Growth Walker, though, of not having enough early stuff to do. So the so Godless Shrine means we don't have to shock. The problem is, is if we draw Jade Light Ranger next turn, we don't get to play Jade Light. We already do have a turn three play, though, with Resplendent Angel. I have no idea what our opponent's doing. It's a great time to be a fan of angels. Heck yeah. Not the Los Angeles Angels of, of Anaheim or whatever their name is these days. Not them though. I'm a Texas Rangers fan and the angels are in our division. Now that we have to worry about running Dawnbringer into a counter spell, because we have fine finality that can get it back. Yeah, I, I don't know what our opponent's doing. No, I don't put the music up. I don't put the music up on YouTube. Well, Night Vale Predator is pretty awesome. That card's pretty good. I mean, I just have to attack through it. I don't have another option. They did not equip it with Strider Harness to make it a 6-6, thankfully. So at least I can trade with it with Resplendent Angel here. Like, if they just would have used one of these manas to... To make it a 6-6, that would have been a lot harder for me to get through. All right, and we'll just go find, get back Lyra, and cast Lyra, make, have Lyra make this angel a 5-5, five five, and they're at 5. Uh, 
Um, so far, I've been preferring Esper and Mardu the most, but this one's pretty interesting to try. Hey, what am I sideboarding? I'm just playing Knight of Autumns and Vivians. I don't know what our opponent's doing. I guess Vivian's not good against the Immortal Sun. I guess that's a thing. Yeah, I'll just just didn't really see creatures, right? So I'm just gonna cut some of our removal with the cast downs and contempt. I still have Mortify in, and Mortify can destroy the enchantments also. And I'll just bring in bring in the Knight of Autumns, destroy those artifacts or enchantments. And that's kind of about it. Not really sure what our opponent's doing still, so not having not bringing in like duress or other things yet. Well then, I guess we'll just kind of move on over to the next game. Yes, Angel of Grace flashback can trigger Resplendent if you gain five or more life. Yes, it can. And the Wow Growth Walkers trigger Resplendent Angel also. You know, like if you have two Wow Growths out, play a Branch Walker to gain six, and then a Resplendent Angel, for example. All right, punt on six cards, keeping the keeping the land heavy hand. Yeah, whenever you, um, whenever your life total gets reset, it counts as life gain or life loss, uh, equal to the amount that your life total gets reset at. All right, so we just played Naya Angels. Let's get that that video is loaded on YouTube. I'm gonna write the description and stuff. Well, I guess we didn't have the the double didn't have the double green here. What's our opponent doing? Is it Drake's? I'm glad they discarded the Beacon Bolt. I like them only having one Beacon Bolt here. This Beacon Bolt is pretty great against me. Uh, I was hoping they were not going to do that. I don't remember what the previous song was. I'm not sure. <laughs> hey, what's up, G Money?
We're not doing the best this game. So if I, if I play Lyra... That's a good card. If I play Lyra, then Lyra just, Lyra just eats the Beacon Bolt. Um, so I want to incentivize my opponent to use the Beacon Bolt on not Lyra. I certainly think they have Dive Down also. Well, that's just the worst case scenario for us. At the end of the song, I can click like the back button and try to go and go back to the previous one, see what it was, and then go back ahead. Yep, so I'll do that here. Looks like we're losing this game, though. Got to draw a Vivian Reed. Vivian Reed. Or Angel of Grace, or Lyra Dombringer, or Lava Coil. Wait, we're playing Black. Or Cast Down, or Mortify, or Vrass's Contempt. We have a lot of good draws. Forest? Forest was not a good draw. All right, so let's get duresses in here. Another cast down, more contempts. Vivian. I mean, settle is, yeah, settle's fine. So we can really turn into a control deck here. Um, I guess finality is actually just pretty awesome. They lava coil my things though. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Forest was a good draw. This was Crash Kings shaking like an animal. Somebody in uh, somebody in chat earlier thought that the rewards were incorrect. I think they were saying that they only got one of the one of the rewards instead of both. What if I just get rid of the explore stuff? Can we do that? Oh, yours just said gold three, gold three? Okay. Somebody said that they they just got like rewards for half of it and not the other half. I didn't I didn't play a single ringed match, so I was bronze four on both of them, so uh yeah, I didn't really Look like much to me. Dark said that it said that it was wrong. It said it wrong, but you got the correct re rewards. <laughs> yep, I was a bronze tier. Mine said platinum and platinum, and I was platinum and bronze, and I got 2,000 gold in four packs, so I think it just said it wrong. So we're hoping our opponent doesn't have a ton of lava coils. You know, like these Sarah of the Scales do not like lava coils. Um, I wouldn't mind them having other removal spells as much, like beacon bolts, because we have find finality. Just lava coils, not the card that I want. 
<laughs> can't believe I'm watching the stream and he's bronze. What am I doing? Where's our lands? 26 land deck. We need more. And the Angels have started. Bleh. They had a coil. Hopefully that's their only coil. I don't want them being coil heavy. Alright, so I'm just going to duress and cast down. They did have another coil. Alright, we got that out of there. King Smith with a tier 1 sub. Welcome to the stream. All right, get this to sub lucky sub number thirteen. Two away from our next pack, and down to needing twenty six subs for the next twelve hour stream. We certainly want another land with all these five mana angels. We would be looking really good if our opponent did not have this treasure cove, but them being able to draw two cards a turn here for the next few turns uh, could certainly be a problem for us. So that attack's telling me they have dive down. I can not block and have my Seraph of the Scales be able to gain Death Touch later. I think I'm going to just do that. I think I'm just going to just not block. Oh, or they just have Charter Course. I guess that's a thing they could have too. Nope, there's Dive Down. I assume there's a reason to use that dive down. I assume. No. Just no reason. Yeah, I think they cast the wrong card by accident. I think that, you know, like, Terramander, Dive Down, both one mana spells. And they probably just see a meant to click Terramander. But the thing is, I guess if you just put your card out here to play it... So if you just play your, your card out there to play it... <coughs> You know, you won't target the target the other thing. Hey, what's up, Anironix? You not a, not a fan of Arena? But yeah, this is why I play twenty six lands in the deck. We can't we can't win when we don't get to five mana. So this is why I'm always playing 26 lands in these Angels decks. Oh, dang. Yeah. 
Yeah, it just seems like... It seems like kind of like the way to go moving forward. Um, I've enjoyed playing it. And yeah, I have a whole lot more viewers when I'm on Arena than on... Than, you know, Magic Online before. Um, but yeah, if, if you... Not liking Arena is, is kind of tough right now because it is just taking over. So, I'm sorry about that, man. I'm a little worried about like the how much they're stressing best of one these days. That's something that I'm not thrilled with. Esper Control. No Kaya's Wrath, only one white mana. I think the question is if I want to play Sarah for the scales or not. Probably just don't need to. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, let's say next turn they're casting a Wrath Effect. Whether it's like Cleansing Nova or Kaya's Wrath. Say that's their plan for next turn. Yeah, like they're certainly inciting here. My next turn I want to play Vivian. If I do not cast Seraph of the Scales, I just have... I just play Vivian on an empty battlefield. I would rather have the two 1-1s one in play uh, while I'm casting Vivian here. Just to have, have something as like a little bit of a... A threat to keep attacking. Vivian will be able to find us more creatures. So I think I've I'm okay lost there. So much already. I won't lose more. Well, the two decks can also be the exact same. You can register the exact same deck twice. Thing. The wilds are my shield. Nice rag for life. Good job. You're doing good in the in the best of three ranked. I haven't I haven't played it yet. So yeah, I'm I'm glad I used that seraph as just like, you know, two two twos basically. Because if I just play Vivian on an empty battlefield, they can play, like, Teferi on the empty battlefield and tuck my Vivian. But with the 1-1s one out, if they play Teferi, tuck Vivian, I would still be able to kill the Teferi then. Meet my newest friend. No, I, I won't be trying to get into the Mythic Invitational. Hmm. Vivian ult animation uh, isn't isn't real special. It's just like the you know, like the green arrow across the across the battlefield. I have not faced a Gate Rainbow Lich deck before. I have not seen that. Some people have talked about it a little bit in the channel before, but I haven't I haven't seen it. I know my responsibility. Let's take it back. You gonna send both of these over there, just so that they had a removal spell. They can't just like, you know, if one of these is a, a any kind of rem removal spell, they can't just kill like one of them. I 
really should have seen that coming. Yeah, we had uh, we had a donation deck uh, earlier that replaced the the Mardu Angels. Jeskai Angels could be a thing. You get Aurelia, Counter Magic. It's kind of similar to the Esper Angels. You get Deafening Clarion. You can certainly make a Jeskai Angels deck. Hmm. How much do I need to worry about Settle the Wreckage? Not much. Well. Let's get out of single pay range. Every fight makes me strong. No one knows the wilds like I do. <laughs> no, I haven't seen a Jeskai Angel list that got a 5 0. No, I hadn't. <clears throat> we have all these lands, but none of them are the Arch of Arazka. Come to me. Do 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 More settles. <laughs> to change the basic land art, you just type in the search bar for your whatever basic land, and then go to the advanced filters and click reset. Certainly overextending here. That's fine. Not too worried about it. Contempt down. And they're keeping that card on top. Ugh. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Alright, there's Archer Varazka. Finally found that one. I think they kept it to Fairy. I can certainly see that. Hmm. I see that too. That unfortunately also puts them back up to six. Where Angel of Grace doesn't kill them yet. Could draw Lyra and make that six. See? Told you we could draw Lyra.
Dang, I can't cast down that? That's legendary? Oh wait, I should draw a card. Okay. That's a really this good draw step. You can win. Hurry. Threat. Um. We're at 20 cards left. Uh, cast down so much worse than Lava Coil. If that was Lava Coil, I would no have been able to kill the Chromium post-combat. <laughs> We're 20 lands in. All right, well, we shouldn't draw too many more lands. Let's see if you're worthy. Hmm. All right, so this is nine coming at them. They're at nine. And look, good. Real glad that card wasn't a removal spell, so they just had to trump with their chromium. As you can tell, I wanted to draw another card to try to get a potential counter spell out of their hand before the Vivian. Um. I'm not I don't like Assassin's yet. Trophy too much. I think giving the opponent an extra land is a really big downside in Standard. And... Yeah, I think, think Cast Down is kind of better most of the time. But this is not, not one of those times. I know, like, attacking them, put them down Let's to two, makes to both my creatures part. lethal. Or even if they Wrath and I have the two one ones, it's lethal. But also, attacking Teferi means they don't get to un they don't get to uh, tuck the Seraph with the Teferi. It's just another settle. Really glad it didn't auto tap my Archer Verazka. That been really sad. It's only a matter of time. So we're at down to 15 cards. All right, and we got the opponent. They likely didn't have like 
basically any win cons left uh, besides decking us with taking the Chromium out. All right, so Duress, Contempt is probably fine. Uh, Vivian, find Spyglass. Yeah, that was Esper getting, re getting wrecked there. The flashing back angel just puts our life total to 10. It doesn't do anything besides that. And that's, that's nothing we needed. We didn't need our life total to become 10. So I think Mortify is basically just for for his Kanta. I don't know if my opponent top decked that well. They drew a Teferi that was really good. That's like the only thing that we really, that I really know that they top decked. They probably had that Chromium in their hand for a long time. <clears throat> I could certainly see my opponent playing some angels or, you know, other creatures or something. Thief of Sanity, you know, all that kind of stuff. Lyra and Wildgrowth Walkers are cards that I don't love here. I'm just going to kind of split the difference, play one of each. <laughs> yep, Hawkeye's just hanging out. He's probably wondering who I'm talking to, thinking that I'm talking to him. Um, Hawkeye's around 12... Around there. Dang, we had to draw that Vivian there. We had to draw it right in time for their Thought Erasure. Library. Um, so I can play the, the Merfolk Branch Walker there, but if, if I play it, I already know that I want to draw that Duress. So all I'm doing is playing a, a two mana 3 2. I think it's more valuable to reset, you know, to be able to play Branch Walker and set up your draw step. Um, you know, and, and so I, I don't think it's really worth it there. Well, now it's getting discarded. Alright, Absorb, Kaya's Wrath, Contempt, Search for Escanta. So Ascant is the thing that can give them like a whole lot of um, card advantage. If 
I activate Resplendent Angel, they can tempt it. So we got three points in. All right, Rev Daddy, best of luck. Seraph is a really good draw. Because we already knew that Seraph was going to get countered, but now we have a new one. It's a good draw. I'm going to be a little greedy here. I'm going to try to Jade Light plus Seraph. Well, that's certainly not happening now. I'm keeping that Vivian, obviously. Yeah, I can certainly see that. Argyle's Bloodfast and Esper Control with all the life gain in the deck. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that. Hmm. I mean, our opponent knows about the Vivian. Dang. There's one card we didn't know about. It kind of felt like it was a counter spell, but... Uh, I don't, I don't like the new duo standard format. Doesn't sound too appealing to me. Looks really bad for us here. That search for Escanta is just going to bury us. Oh, it's been working out okay. You know, we're one and one. So it's it's going okay. Uh, looks like we're about to go to game three here. We lost to it Drake's. That's what we lost to. Another Kaya's Wrath? I've been winning most of my matchups against Control, just kind of in general, with just, you know, with sideboard. Um, you know, we didn't win that game, but you get a lot of good good stuff in the sideboard. I'm not I'm not sure about with this version though. Let's play some Knight of Autumns over that Wild Growth Walker and the Lyra. Oh yeah, search is incredible. Yeah, that card is incredible. All right, deck. We need a, we need you to draw spells for us. Thank you. That worked out. So keeping our, our mana heavy hand. Because <clears throat> I really like Arch of Araska. I like having a lot of lands in Arch of Araska. Yeah, I keep six landers a decent amount. 
Um, especially, especially attack with a high curve, where hitting land drops is really important, which is what we have with these angels decks. And um, and then yeah, we also have Archer Veraska for like a, a good mana sink. Hey, Dark Phoenix, welcome. All right, so planning on having Angel of Grace and Step. Could get Angel of Grace under a counter spell. There, but I don't really mind if they counter Angel of Grace and then I get to resolve uh, Vivian. You know, if they have double counter here with their three cards or four cards, they have two counters that they get to play on both of those. That that'd be a huge problem. Do I want to play Resplendent Angel? Yeah, I think so. Hey, Code Junk, doing good. Doing good. <laughs> yeah, Nexus of Fate is very frustrating. That is true. So they did have that counter spell. As Kanta's close to flipping, but not there yet. So I know I can contempt the Angel of Grace, but I really want Vivian to resolve, and Vivian can resolve right now, and I can kill the Searcher Ascanta before it transforms. Beasts so that's that's exactly reliable. what I want to do. That can't help you now. The Angel of Grace is certainly going to be annoying to deal with, uh, especially how I'm not going to be attacking for just a, a ton of damage all the time. So like the fact that I can reset the life total is gonna be annoying. Balance comes. Yeah, I'll do some there we go. That's that's a good card, and it, it allows me to um allows me to make the Jade Light a four three that can trade with Bell Haunt. So I can Well I was going to say so I didn't have to worry about contempting one to protect Vivian, but, you know, here we are. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll do some ranked best of three. I'm not going to, like, only, only do that and grind for Mythic really hard or anything like that. The wilds are my shield. One, two, three, four, five, six... I thought it snapped off that trade. Yeah, so I could Spyglass name Angel of Grace. I could. I'm, I'm not going to. You can't stop nature. Hey, good job, Real Horatio. Four O so far in traditional draft. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh, I love they took Seraph and not Spyglass. They must not be relying on Teferi too much. Meet my newest friend. All right, and we'll just keep that on top. Draw it at end step. Dang it. I waited too long for my spyglass. Sorry I'm late. You need to slow down. All right, attack. That didn't go um, two, three. So yeah, I'm, I'm one mana away from being able to play Vi to be able to activate Arch and play Vivian this turn. So let's just get a couple creatures back. Let's get a Seraph and an Angel of Grace. Or is it Jade Light Angel of Grace? Certainly, certainly getting Angel of Grace. I guess Jade Light Angel of Grace. And draw a card. Oh, I was one mana off. Sorry, when I was thinking I was thinking I was gonna be able to play Jade Light there, but I guess I can't, so I guess I'll just spy glass. And name Teferi. So, hey Todd, I've been brewing up an Esper Angel Dex for a couple of weeks. Would you mind taking a look at it and telling me what you think? I missed the stream where you played Esper. What were your thoughts on it? Uh, I, I liked the, the Esper deck I was playing. I thought it was it was pretty good, honestly. I, I thought it was pretty good against Control, like the the 75 I had. If you want to, if you want to take a look at, at my deck, uh, you can find the deck here on my stream decker. If you want to see the, the list we were playing. To, to compare, and you can also find How the video of it if you want to watch no that. One knows the you can like find the I video do. on my YouTube channel. The video from earlier today is already up. That Esper deck, that is. Um, I think Isolated Chapel. Hand drops are good. Our six card hand worked has been working out pretty good for us. Our six our six uh, land hand, sorry. Keeping our six land hand has been working out pretty well. Balance comes. I'm saving Resplendent Angel because it, it dies to like a wrath effect without really getting us any value. Where like the Jade Light gets us the explorer before the Seraph of the Scales will leave some creatures on the battlefield. Yeah, Vivian and Arch of Orozco. We've drawn a ton of cards from Arch of Orozco, too. Mm. Angel of Grace. Yeah, it's worth it. I don't have to really worry about Settle the Wreckage because of the Duress. And that's game. Two and one. Sierra was saying our angel these all these angels decks can't be control. We've been doing just fine against control. 
We don't like have a hundred percent win rate or anything like that, but there are lots and lots of control decks in these best of three queues, so got to be able to beat those. So that's what our our sideboard is really trying to beat Esper and Bant Nexus and stuff like that. All right, Thursday night. We got just a couple more days till the Super Bowl. Who do y'all got in the Super Bowl? I sure want the Rams to win. I don't know if they will, though. Really kind of feels like a, a coin toss. Yeah, you, you just can't bet against Tom Brady. That's the thing. <laughs> Everyone wants their hands to win, but it's probably not going to happen. I know, right? Is White Weenie any good? I just started. Yeah, White Weenie is good. That's, that's a, a very good archetype. I feel like... I think right now, Esper Angels is probably better. Or sorry, Mardu Angels is probably better. But I feel like Esper Angels uh, has a lot of potential. We got Pats by seven. Bill renewed his deal with the devil. It's in the NFL's best interest for the Rams to win. So LA Rams. It's already scripted to the Pats, I'm sure. A Bant Angels list. Yeah, kind of worried about the interaction with Bant Angels. But there could certainly be something there. It'll come down if the Patriots interior line can block the Rams interior pass rush. I have a feeling the Rams could pull off a 2007 style Giants versus Pats win. They can do that. Yeah, like they have. Yep, that's a good good point. That really bothered Breeze. The interior pass rush is, especially Breeze. Like how Breeze is a shorter uh, QB. That's like the exactly where you want to be. Um, we know Brady. Brady is just the best at. You know, a lot of things, of course, but also just the best at getting rid of the ball quickly. I think I've seen that that Brady gets rid of it in like 1.7 seconds on average. It's so, I mean, it's like, it's like, how do you get to the quarterback in 1.7 seconds? My son has never seen the Patriots not go to the Super Bowl. Wow. Would you let Brady win the Super Bowl if he retires after this year? The thing is, I, I know he's just not retiring. He's, def he's definitely not retiring. He's, he's, you know, talked about how, you know, he's, he said he's not retiring. Um, yeah, I don't... Gosh, he's 41 now? I don't know when he's going to retire. All right, so if I know, okay, fine, that wasn't the question. So if if I'm told 
Brady retires if the Patriots win. Would I want the Patriots to win? The answer is no. No. Still want, to th want them to win. I want them to come back. Pa Brady to come back and start losing a bunch next year. Sorry, Burtley man. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? My favorite team is the Steelers. And this is nothing. As we know, the Steelers didn't make the playoffs this year. It's a real disappointing year, but man, they they lost some really tough ones. And the you know, you don't want to say that, like, you lose games because of the refs, but the Steelers lost two games because of the refs, giving the opponent seven points twice. I'll be back, just like And it before. was really tough. Um, so I can either find back the two creatures... And replay Seraph or just activate Archer Roska. Yeah, I mean, that's. You know, everybody knows about, like, the Saints call and everything, but the only reason why the, the Saints beat the Steelers was because of a Phantom Pass interference call. You know, it was, it was a third down, it was like a third down heave to the end zone in the Steelers game. And. The steel the Steelers DB was just behind the was just behind the um, Saints receiver, but didn't didn't have a hand on him. Like it wasn't doing anything. But the back judge, the back judge was behind them and thought the Steelers receiver was or sorry thought the Steelers DB was was pushing him, so they called pass interference, put the ball at the one, gave him a touchdown, which cost the Steelers that game. That was the loss that knocked the Steelers out of the playoffs. Obviously, the, the Saints one was on a bigger stage, so the more people know about it, it was the same kind of thing. So I'm not playing Merfolk Branchwalker because I get to activate Arch of Araska. I don't know, the, the finality still, it, it did its job. We got... We got a, um... We got Chupacabra out of their hands. I think we're doing fine. I mean... We're, we're certainly really far behind, but with our, our mulligan, we're doing okay. Ugh. Midnight Reapers. Just the combination of Midnight Reaper, Hydroid Crisis. It's tough to beat. You think the Steelers need a, a different head coach? I like to I like Tomlin. I'm one of the few that do. It seems like it seems like I'm in the mi minority.
I haven't... I think out of these Angels decks, this Abzan deck is probably my least favorite. Because I, I feel like this Abzan deck is... I'm kind of feeling like it's it's a worse Soul Tie. Just downloaded Arena today. What deck should I build for standard? Um, the mono color aggro decks are, are pretty popular, like mono red, uh, especially like in the best of one. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of up to you. Like that's the thing about Magic, you can kind of play whatever you want, what you like. Uh, put in a link here. With the, uh, the standard metagame on Goldfish, you can kind of find something you want in there. Yeah, last few yeah last few years has been a lot of a lot of discipline issues on the Steelers, which you certainly point that right point that right at the head coach. That's certainly fair. Got to keep my life total kind of high because of this crisis. It's a good idea, a broken controller. I think I'll we'll go ahead and do that after this, after this league. Yeah, we are we are flooding out a bit. Flooding out just a tad. I I don't think this the Steelers should not draft a QB because they just drafted Mason Rudolph in the third round. Well, like a year or two ago. Um, like they just used the the pick on the QB and and that was like the real disappointing thing was that Mason Rudolph didn't get in the game against the Raiders whenever Big Ben got hurt, um, they had whatever his name was that is not any good, and their offense did nothing. It's like they just used, yeah, that was just last year they got Mason Rudolph. Yeah, they put, yeah, Josh Dobbs in instead. Uh, I was like, what, what's going, like, why is Rudolph not in the game? Uh, if you're using a third round pick, you know, third round picks are valuable. And like with the, how their defense is, they definitely could have used that third round pick on defense if they're just going to they're going to take the QB there. He's got to be the backup. All right, anyway, Redstone 78 with the sub, sub number 14 on the day. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I guess they're just saying, you know, he's still learning everything, you know, he is a rookie QB. So All right, we're playing against uh Sultai. If we play all these cards, what are we cutting? Maybe I can't play Find Finality? Maybe I just can't play all these removal spells? I guess Mortify is like just a worse cast down. So actually, we can take out Mortify. Um, and then this is 64. I mean, my, my whole Resplendent July, Angel of Grace, Lyra, they aren't... Amazing. Okay, you thought it was more a statement of Dobbs overachieving in that preseason whenever you outplayed him there. The only starting AFC quarterbacks that have been in a Super Bowl are Tom Brady and Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, it's crazy, but it's it's true. I mean, when, when Brady goes, you know... Three out of four years, basically, or whatever.
Dang it. Uh, I was talking too much. Didn't didn't sideboard. Ran out of time. Yeah, it, it does take time for, for rookie quarterbacks to develop. That's I mean that's that's certainly fair. Now we're just going back to the the normal. Uh, we're playing sixty. Uh, if you don't submit in time, it just gets you back to your main deck. Which is disappointing. I really wanted the at least to settle the wreckages. Settle the wreckages is, is is certainly the card that I want in this matchup uh, the most from my sideboard. <laughs> it certainly does not seem like there is more other positions besides quarterback in football. It is it is the second most important single position in my opinion. Uh, in all of the team sports, I think the only the only position that's more important to their team than quarterback in football is the goalie in hockey. The goalie in hockey can just win games on on their own. Even the pitcher, you got to have like I don't know your defense and everything. I think I think goalie in hockey is more important. And I, I think quarterback's more important than starting pitcher, even. Yeah, goalies can just win championships on their own. I think that's the most important. I would, I would go goalie, then quarterback, then starting pitcher. A, a boxer in boxing? Well, not really a team sport. You can't stop nature. Yeah, that's a good point with the starting pitcher. You're only throwing every five games. So, like, even though you may um, have a big impact on, on your game, it is it is only, like, one out of every five. The Yankees were so successful, but I don't think it's because of Rivera. I think the Yankees also have had just an amazing. They've just had a great lineup, great, not always great starting pitching, last few years. But they've they've kind of always had a really good lineup, and um. The real, you know, relief core certainly helps that, but there's just so much more. So like players, like individual players, can only do so much. You see, even like the best, the best players in baseball have like 10 WAR. They like affect like 10 wins um, over an average player throughout an entire 162 game season. That's like the very, very best players. Like, and by, I mean, 10 WAR is just an an incredible season that's that's not a, that's like the best player every few years kind of thing um but yeah for one one starting pitcher for one individual game you know certainly up there those other positions can continue to do that game after game. They're keeping this cast down also. So you know two of their cards are going to be cast downs. 
Which I like, because Shalai and Lyra are, are legendary. These cast downs aren't killing these legendary angels. But if you're making like a postseason run trying to win a championship, like a starting pitcher, one starting pitcher is not going to get you there. But one goalie can get you there. Dude, Jacob deGrom's year was incredible. I don't I don't play f fancy baseball anymore, but I had um hey. But when I did, I remember I I got a trade for DeGrom a few years ago and it was awesome in a keeper league. He was my best pitcher by far. Hey, just sit on my lap. There you go. You don't need to be up on the table. And obviously I can just take this too with the lifelink that we're gaining from Lyra and Shalai. So we're good there. Don't have to work, worry about settle or anything like that. Pretty surprised they kept that other cast down. If they don't have an answer to Shalai. Which it doesn't look like they do. Because they can't even cast down anything when I have Shalai on the battlefield anyway. Because... The other things have hexproof. Trout already has a higher career war than Mark McGuire. Wow. All right, can we get a game three? Didn't even sideboard there. Let's get this other Vivian back in. Um, I want the Contempts. And this Settles. I want to exile stuff. I don't want Mortify. Maybe I can even trim a cast down. Or maybe just not even bring in the third. The problem is what else to do from here. Like, you know, I really like Find Finality too, but it's like, what else? What are the three cards that I'm getting taking out of the deck? I'm not sure. Yeah, Esper Angels is pretty strong. This is the problem. I don't know what to take out. I didn't. What if they have Climb? I don't know. I'll kill it with the Vivian Reed or just not worry about it. Wild Growth Walkers. I could see getting rid of Wild Growth Walkers. I really like the afterlife on, on Seraph in this matchup. I mean, Seraph's just awesome. And the death touch. Maybe I don't need the Angel of Grace. Play two wild growth. I'll try that. All right, Hako, can we beat Don, Don Atello? Yeah, Don Atello is who we're facing. That hand won't do it. This hand looks a little better. My opponent's also on six also. He's also on six also. My opponent's on the same number of cards that we are. Also. No, 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 no. Just stay, just stay here. Otherwise, you get all moody up there. All right, fine. You can sit up here and start attacking me. That was a good jam. No, ex no lands, no explore creatures, nothing for the opponent. 
Concede. Ooh, got the first part. First part's good. So I'm keeping the second Shalai here because Shalai is just very strong and can win the game with the activated ability and all that kind of stuff. And so I like having the backup. <laughs> Regal Caracal, always in standard over here. Attack. Attack. Come on. Attack opponent. You can do it. Attack. Dang. They didn't attack. Okay, yeah. I still have black mana. The deck, the link doesn't work. The link just worked for me. I just used the link. You can try typing in manually, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Um, all right, so the Contempt shall I. Throw these branch walkers a little bit. All right, good. They use a chupacabra on a branch walker. That's certainly good. I like them using that there instead of, you know, on a Shalai or a Seraph of the Scales. While the wilds are my shield. And we got to tuck three lands to the bottom. That's good. Next turn we get to double spell with Seraph and Shalai. Hmm. Kind of want to say no blocks. No, I'll block. Whoa. What is that thing? Come to me. Uh, can I take that card? Man, that card was next. So we drew a land. We had four lands last time, so it was four lands, fifth land, a six, seven, eight lands, and a settle for the last nine cards. Man, if I play Shalai and they have finality, it is really bad for me. Please don't have finality. The Seraph can gain Death Touch, so uh, I thought it. That was, of course, a little risky to just keep the Seraph there. Ooh, 
you know, I, with like the Seraph with Death Touch, I thought was a little risky. Ah, strike me, and you strike nature. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Uh, to like a single removal spell. Just gonna try to race this Carnage Tyrant, basically. That's my goal. Stop. Let's tear this place apart. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Be kind of interesting to see where, who, where they attack. You know, with having this other Vivian, I'd like them to attack Vivian. Save that nine life. Ah, not again. Hmm. Well, I would say that could go worse for us, but that couldn't. Vivian and find. Not dead yet. Come to me. I think my opponent, yeah, my opponent knows about that Woodland Cemetery too. That was a card we revealed to, to something. We've had a, we've seen it. We put a lot of lands at the bottom with these tick ups. Let's do this again. We're gonna block this chupacabra here. And try to win with these two twos. Oh, dang it. Ugh. That's bad. All right, we have another cell of the wreckage we could draw into. We know one's towards the bottom of the deck because of a, a Vivian tick up, but there's still another one. Okay. Okay, that's real. That's real. So we can get Lyra and Resplendent. That's certainly real. All right, and I think I'm going no attacks with these one ones, because like you know we're gonna have lethal in the air if they draw if they brick and draw a land we win. Like if, they, if they brick, we got this. Carnage, that carnage tyrant doesn't do anything. I wouldn't really say that's a brick. But that's not bad for us. We're still going to be fine-ish. Fine-ish. Because of our contempt. Yeah, if I would have only just hit him by one, right? Or let's see. No, we're good, right? We, we, uh, no, yeah, we can activate, right? Yeah, because we can tempt this, activate, turn into six. Yeah, no, we're still good. Yeah, with the angel ability. Yeah, we're good. Well, they're not dead on board, but they're dead in our hand. Whoa, attacking with the other things makes no sense. Attacking with all the other stuff makes actual no sense. 
Attacking with the Carnage Tyrant made a lot of sense. The other things just let us gain 9 life and get another Angel. That just put them dead on the battlefield. I don't even need to cast this Contempt. Because that's 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I don't, I don't even need to cast this Contempt. That was just the worst attack. Well, find finality was awesome for us there. We had to find back that getting back a Resplendent Angel and a Lyra Dawnbringer. That was awesome. All right. Three and one. So that was really good. That was quite impressive. Nine twenty six. Yeah, go ahead, Trey, you're good. I like this forest, even though it's not really a forest. It's just like, you know, it's a, it's a building in a city. It's just like a city with like a couple trees on the outside. Hey, down Nate. Good match. Yeah, we, we did have, you know, with the, um, After you drew the Krasis, we still had lethal on the battlefield with, uh, like, we had the Contempt in hand to be able to remove the Krasis and attack for lethal, so you're all good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you want this deck list, you can do exclamation point deck list. I should have played Temple Guard in here. Uh, not some pedal. I mean, it's, it's po possible I cast this cast down here. Like, they play Midnight Reaper or something. Llanowar Elf. Hmm. Yeah, I'll cast down an Elf. I know they have lots of mana. Well, that changes my, my tune. No, I think I like Esper Angels more. This kind of feels like a a weaker Soul Tie. No, sub alerts are on. Oh, refresh your stream, Darth. You may need to do that. So they could triple block and trade with my walker, but that's still just not a very good attack for me. What to grind on best of three ladder. Well, I've been having a lot of success with these different angel decks that we've been playing. Um, both Mardu Angels and Esper Angels. Really like both of those. I, I don't really have any big thoughts on the Mythic Championship stuff.
Give us your hot take on this best of three, but really best of one with two decks. Oh, yeah, that's, I guess that's like, I I don't like that at all. I, I don't think that that's, I just don't like it at all. I, I guess that's kind of the short and sweet of it. That, let's see if you're worthy. Yeah, I really don't like that that format, but uh oh. There's so many things I need to contempt. I kinda wish I didn't use that cast down earlier. Uh I just gotta get rid of this Vivian. Yeah, I think people have been saying best of three. You can do ranked best of three now. I haven't looked uh, looked it up myself. Um, yeah, it really doesn't make. Honestly, I just I just don't know the point of like that weird f format of best of one, twice. And everything. It, it's really weird. I don't. I don't know why they just don't play regular magic. How magic's been played for the last twenty-five years with you know sideboarding and everything. every jade light um from what from what people have been saying in the channel here um right now you rank up really slowly with the best of three just you just only get one win for winning a match, and so it's like the, you rank up the exact same speed as winning one game in a best of one as when you win a best of three. But in the middle of the month, they'll be changing that, and you'll get two wins or two losses if you win or lose in a best of three. So right now you're getting two wins when you were winning? Okay, so... All right, so I was hearing wrong earlier because that was just like from what I was told here in chat. I mean, this is not a bad trade for us. They're trading five, five of their creatures for three of mine. So they're trading five creatures and a finality for three, three of their creatures or for three of my creatures. Like they just kill three creatures Five of theirs are dead. Assuming they put the counters on Hydra. It doesn't matter where they put the counters. Five of theirs will die. Yeah, so we traded three for five, plus we got a finality out of their hand, which is awesome, I think, for us. It's fine finality is, like, impossible to beat. Well, I mean, it's not. I mean, they just use, like, the find. They just block with stuff. Like, block with their hostage taker. Find it. Get it back. Yeah, that was a very good finality for us. And then, yeah, that was really good for us. Miracle being the 15th sub of the day. Let's get some hype. 
in the chat for the miracle. Thanks, miracle. That gets us down to oh, it looks like it says 24 now. All right, we're only 24 subscribers. Sub number 15 on day. Give me pack time after this. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so I can I can activate and resplendent. Uh Chupacabra. Boo. Thankfully, those Wildgrowth Walkers uh, gained us a lot of life. Whoa, Miracle's also gifting out some subs. I am starting to believe in Miracles. That means we are down to only needing... 19 more subscribers for our next goal. We are opening up two packs here in a little bit. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Miracle. You are you're wonderful. Thank you. So much hype. Whew, that is awesome. Are we are it says eighteen subs away actually. Ah, uh, that cast down. They had another Jade Light? Second month in a row with that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, E Weaver. Welcome back. Hmm. I guess I, I could have just gained four more life if I would have just blocked with this Splendid Angel also. Alright, looks like we're going to be down a game, Hawkeye. But we're getting... Got lots of subs. take the game loss for that. Yeah, I'm thinking this one's out of our grasp, too. And we could... That's 19? Mikein! Getting in on the hype action. Welcome to the stream, Mikein. Sub number 22. 
Hey, Kotex. That's not going to save us. All right, we're down a game. So let's get this other finality in here. Vivian settles uh, contempts. So we did mortify out the angel of grace out, and then two walkers out. Let's do this. All right, we can get this. Right, okay. Yeah, we can get this. Whoa. What are you doing? Esper Angels is, felt really good, honestly. Uh, just the, the Thought Erasures were perfect in that deck. Uh, I felt like Thought Erasure just being such a strong card. And I think it fits there on the two mana spot of the curve pretty well. Ooh, going to the final boss with Mardu Angels? Dude, best of luck. Is best of three ladder only giving one rank bar per match win or one bar per game win? I don't know, honestly. Um, I've heard a couple different things in, in chat. I've heard both of those. The last person said that they were getting one gar one bar per game win. Sometimes your deck just does this to you. Play 26 lands and we see one land, one land in the 7 and 6. Just not much to do. So yeah, I'll be I'll be talking about the different angel decks at the end of at, at the end of this league, which may be this match. It's looking like it could be this match. All right, we need to get lucky. We need to draw a land here for Vivian. We we could still pull this out if we draw this land for Vivian here. Did not get there. <sighs> I have find finality so I can get it back. I'm really surprised at the lack of Rass's Contempt there that turn. Really surprised, honestly. My favorite card in the new set. Uh. So that's what they shocked in for, was a disdainful stroke. Um, should do a Mardu Monday, that's, that's, that's not a bad idea. I'm not sure what my favorite card from the new set is, honestly. Would you like to see what's left of Scott? Draw and fire. Unfortunately, they just have a contempt of their own now, and the wilds I let them get a lot of. I 
to let them get like some traction off of their disdainful stroke. I, I really played into that last turn by just main phasing you that contempt. That my nature. contempt play was a bad play. Now we've we've probably played against Sultai probably four or five times today. I'd say probably five times. I don't think more than five times. And you know, we've played a lot of games, so it's not every opponent, but you know, we play against it. But yeah, this is this is the second time in a row we've played it in this this match though. No one knows the wilds like I do. But yeah. Looking pretty dead. Uh, mulling to five is really tough, and then uh, Feel the making a bad mistake like I did with that contempt after mull to five just can't ha can't have it. Grace's card is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ha! I've seen worse. I guess I never really had an answer for my favorite card from the new set. I'm still kind of deciding that one. There's nothing that like jumps out. Maybe Sarah for the scales. Maybe I guess it's probably Sarah for the scales. There we go. Yeah, probably Seraph. My least favorite card is Wilderness Reclamation. Yeah, I I underrated Sarah for sure. This thing goes is up to you, pal. Okay. So it went 2 2 with 3 2. 3 2 with Abzan Angels. That's better. 3 2, not so bad. <laughs> Reclamation's your favorite card. Which, that's okay. That's, that's probably like the sign of a good design card. If it's, it's some people's favorite, some people's least favorite. Kind of thing. Yeah, I played some Skargon Hellkite. Skargon Hellkite's pretty cool. So yeah, so Abzan Angels overall 
you know, like this is, you know, this is also like first uh, time of trying it, but I honestly didn't like it. I didn't like it. It it felt like we were just doing the Sultai thing a whole lot worse than what they were doing. So uh, I don't I don't really like. Yeah, don't like it. Um, so if ranking these angels decks, because a lot of people in chat like here has been wanting me to like, that's what they've been asking about. Uh, I'd ha I'd have Abzan angels as the as the worst, and probably Naya angels as the second worst. It's kind of the same kind of thing. I do like this one more though. I like um, I like having a rhythm of the wild, but basically this deck's going to be better against kind of the two ends of the spectrum of uh, i think it's like with this sideboard and stuff i think you're good against mono white or sorry not mono white but like mono red like all the aggro decks i think you're pretty good against with the angels and with deafening clarion and knight of autumn to gain life and then you're i think you're kind of okay against the control decks with rhythm of the wild and cinder vines uh those are pretty big there um but i, I think kind of both of those decks are gonna are gonna be kind of weak against Zoltai. I think they're like we have the explore package, but then also with angels as well, um, where our top end isn't doesn't have the card advantage that their top end does. So I think I like Mardu and Esper better. We played Esper today. I was pretty impressed with it, with um, how good it was against control with like the discard and counter magic uh, to go along with with the angels. Um, cause we had a lot of, a lot of discard it and counter magic there. I think Eldest Reborn and Ethereal Absolution are like the two worst cards in the, uh, sideboard. And those could maybe be like Thief of Sanities or something else. Then even against Golgari with having Kaya's Wraths, that was really nice. You know, having like, like four mana Wrath effects reset the board and then Immortal Sun against like their Vivians and everything. Immortal Sun was awesome. Um... So I like Desper Angels quite a bit, and, Mar and of course Mardu Angels has been really good for us. We've been winning quite a bit, and I haven't tried it with Takali Honor Guard. That was that was why I was going to be trying it here, but Esper, or sorry, but Mardu with Takali Honor Guard. Um, but I've been really happy with Mardu Angels also. So I would I would put Mardu and, and Esper as like my top two right now. Um, the two color combination angels to start with i think is is certainly orzov i think orzov with seraph of the scales if you're going with just two color uh you know you can have i didn't really like the cast downs but you can have um kaya's wrath and and everything and and i think orzov gives you a lot of stuff if you're going to play if you're going to do two color uh, of course you need white obviously you need white and so if you're going to do two color add i think black is the the strongest color pair to go with it right now with having duress and you can have Bl argyle's blood fast and duress and uh spyglass and immortal sun and all that kind of stuff for control and you can have your normal things uh like settle kaya's wrath for like sweepers and things like that so there we go those are our angel deck here on this angelic thursday so if you're watching this later on YouTube, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm putting the YouTube link here in the channel. Also, doing that, uh, doing another 12-hour stream whenever we get to 1,500 YouTube subscribers. Every 500 YouTube subscribers is a 12-hour stream, and uh, and there we go. We're 17 uh, other subs here on YouTube. Hey, Steven. So what's the best? Um, I don't know. Like, I, basically, I think like Mardu Angels and, and Esper are like one A one B right now. They certainly both need more testing. You know, I haven't. I've only played them a couple of times. Like this Esper Angels, this list was the first time me playing this list, uh, kind of thing. Um, so they certainly need more more testing. But those are my my top two. I think I like those more the potential more than the ones with these explore creatures than these two. So, ah, right, packs, yes. We are getting two packs. Um, so, so far, we already got Dominaria and Rivals earlier. So, let's get an Ixalan and an M19. Um, I don't really... I don't need uh, the the two Ravnica sets because I already got basically all the cards. So, so we're going with... We already got these two, so let's get the other two. 
All right, let's start with the Exelon pack. Sanguine Sacrament. I mean, I feel like this is actually probably a pretty decent card for like those those uh, Wilderness Reclamation Bant decks. Uh, you can gain a whole lot of life with Wilderness Reclamation <laughs> against like maybe a cyborg card against red. You can just gain so much life. You know, like turn four Wilderness Reclamation, turn five with ten mana. Turn five, you have ten mana. You just get to gain sixteen life. That's so much life. So yeah, I haven't seen many people have that in their deck, but you can gain 16 life on turn 5 after a turn 4 Reclamation. Alright, then M19, we get an Alpine Moon. Doesn't, doesn't have too much uh, use in Standard, but... Awesome art, though. The art on this card is really cool. Really cool art. I don't really... Like, I guess the moon is, like, in the mountain. Or I guess, like, that's... It's like, that's like a sun... It, I, it's hard to tell if that's, like, the sun or if that's a moon that's, like, super bright. Like, I don't know exactly what's going on, but it looks really cool. I don't understand what's going on, but it looks really cool. So there we go. All right, um, let's see. I guess for hosting, does not look like MTG Nurgle is on. And, oh, Jamie just left. She's not on anymore either. All right, no one really for me to host then. I don't think. Oh, she is on. Oh, never mind. Because she said that she was going to be on earlier today. I just, I guess I just missed it. When she was here in chat, she was saying, yeah, she was saying that she was on. She was going to be on whenever she's here in chat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and send a raid that way. I guess I should stop the YouTube recording. Uh, again, thanks for watching on YouTube. Hope you uh, check out the next video, and I'll see you next time.